is my example that I'm going to fill in with the watercolor paint for you. My palette has been sitting and the water has activated all of the colors in my palette. If you wanted to use a flat black, there is a black watercolor paint. However, sometimes it's just easier if you use a Sharpie marker. I'm not going to fill anything in flat black. Now, what you'll do is look at your rough sketch and, decide, and figure out where you mapped out your colors for the first rectangle. I did not have a rough sketch, so I'm going to use this blue called Ultramarine. And I'm just putting a little bit of color in the brush by swirling the water around the color that's in the bottom of the reservoir. And I'm going to test it on a piece of scrap paper first. That's a very, very light blue. Notice I'm not smashing the bristle down all the way either. If I wanted it to be a little bit darker, you would just swirl the bristles around the little bit of paint in the bottom of the reservoir a little bit more, and it should dissolve more of the color. The great thing about watercolors is that you can always go over top once it's dry the next day and add another layer. Once I'm done testing it out and I like the consistency and the color, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. I don't want to paint the background this color. I'm going to paint one of the outside. Actually, I'm going to paint inside the skull. So I'm I'm right-handed, so I'm going to start in the left side first and work my way across that way. I don't smudge any of the paint. I'm very barely touching the bristles to the paper to get the paint to spread. I'll come back in, get more paint. As long as the area that I'm painting is touching dry paper, my colors will not spread into each other, which means I cannot paint this part of my skull today because this part is wet. And if I tried to, whatever color I used in here, let's say I used a green, it would spread into the blue, and I don't want that to happen. So this is going to be a, a patient painting experience for you and you're going to learn how to be patient and let things dry completely which means letting it sit overnight before you go into an area that sits next to where you're painting. Once the area is complete you can put your piece away and let it dry overnight for tomorrow.